Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery in our shooting center today. Got a special product video for you today. I'm here with Vern Coop, and Vern, we're gonna talk about the Coop's Bowsmith. We're gonna talk about what you use it for, how you use it. This is a shooting machine I've been interested in for a couple years. And so I'll start off with why did you come up with this design? What do you want this machine to be used for? This is designed to set up a bow, take the human factor out of it. You can tune your bow and your arrows, and when you leave the machine, you know, at least that's right. Right, so in archery, you know, if I were to shoot my arrows, I could be doing things, there could be torque, uh, you know, I could be doing something with my release hand. So with all of this, you know, the bow and the arrows, there is no human error factor yeah. involved. Um, okay, so when somebody orders the Coop's Bowsmith, it comes in a box, but assembly is pretty simple. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Put the legs on, put the bow hand in, and this little device up here, and that's basically it. It's got all the hardware. It took you about 20 minutes to put it together. It's got all the hardware in there, as well as most of the tools. What are the extra yeah. tools we're going to need? It comes with, a, with that, but you're also going to need a... Uh, Couple open end wrenches come in handy. Gotcha. Seven sixteenths and one foot five eighths bolt. Okay, gotcha. Now, uh, before we start talking about how you use it, let's just run through the parts. You tell, you explain to me what we're, what I'm looking at here. Okay, this back here, that's the winch, and forward here you got a carrying block. On this, we have a uh, little micro tuning device that comes in handy with also with two safeties. One that locks the release in, and this one connects to the bow string in case your D-loop separates and it'll catch your bow. Nice. Next, we have the bow hand. And that's pretty straightforward too. Uh, you got a torque box on the front here, so you can adjust your bow inside out, upside, uh, you can put cant in it, raise it up, tilt it, whatever you want to do within reason. And up here, we have a upper, upper riser lock. This clamps the bow in place in the second spot and makes tooting arrows a breeze. Gotcha. Um, and so, as you mentioned, the micro tune. So this operates like a typical uh, winch in that it's going to have clicks. And mm -hmm. so if you're in between clicks when you hit the draw stop, you can micro adjust here. Yeah. Um, all right. So. What I wanted to do, Vern, is we're gonna go through this step by step. Let's start out first by putting a bow into the Coop's Bowsmith. All right, Vern, so we got our compound bow here. There's the front end. What are we gonna to do to set up? Well, I'm gonna take these two little things off here. Take the top one apart. Okay. So you got to line your bow up in there. So there is, it's seating against a rubber piece. Uh, so it's not sitting yeah. against metal. It's got sure. rubber contact points. Sure, I might have to get in front here to, you want to latch this on? Yeah. Got it. Now just put like just a little couple clicks on just to take up some tension. Put the clicker on so, it, yeah, and that'll, That'll help hold the bow steady while you put the rest of this together here. It's pretty simple. Tighten the back one first. Then use your front one to kind of cinch it down a bit. And your top riser one, you just line this up. Set your bow in there so it's kind of square again. Mm -hmm. Get back and it's easy just to eyeball it. Yeah, we'll get into leveling here in a second. And just tighten that up and that should do it. All right, um, so now we can see that we're just off of level. I can see in the sight there. So how would you adjust that? It looks like the bow needs to have the top go to the yeah. left. Normally, this would be the last thing we do is put this little device in place up at top here to hold this. Uh -huh. We want to plumb the bow first, just give it a little Twisting, I can see that. A little that. bit back. Bring this back. Okay. okay. So we know the bow is level now. 
All right, so go from back here, let's go over how you connect these safety devices. Okay, this one here is for the pins, so you cannot accidentally pull a trigger. And this just simply clips on your string and hangs free. So if we were at full draw and the D-loop broke, the chain is gonna hold the string. At yeah, least it's gonna keep, keep, it from keep dry you. Firing. Yep. Yeah. And as you mentioned, the pin here, now you can't fire that, yeah. fire that release. All right, Vern, so now we have the bow in there, it's leveled. Um, what are things that you can do with the Co Coop's Bowsmith? Why is someone gonna use this at home or at their shop? One good thing is for tuning arrows. Uh, I can shoot arrow after arrow. It should hit the same hole once it's set up properly and long as arrow is a good arrow. So if you're into knock tuning, yeah. you can, you know, twist the knock. If you got one, you know, you can shoot a dozen arrows. If you got a couple that aren't hitting with the others, turn that knock a little bit, do some knock tuning. Um, but then, as you mentioned, uh, you like to install a peep sight into your bowstring at full draw. Yeah. Why do you like to do that? For one thing, you could part and you can set it with, part the string, put it in with your fingers, and when you tie it at full draw, when you back it back down, it tightens up even more. So the peep sight is really set in there. And you get the angle right when it's drawn back. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, since we're talking about that, let's put a peep sight in there, Vern. So I got our peep sight right here. Okay, we're gonna draw the bowl back. See that stop should be about the same spot. Right there. Yeah, okay. Got our peep sight. So now you would have measured this yes. ahead of time to get uh, where you want to put it. And so typically strings come with a parting line in right, them already. Yeah. So we're is, just doing this on a quickie here. This is a used bow, so we don't know where we more. get there. And it just sets in there like that. Boy, is that easy when you get it right. <laughs> gotcha. Um, and so then as you said, if we were to tie it in now, uh, then when we let it down, we can, uh, uh, it'll make it even tighter. Yeah. But at this, at this arrangement, now you know at full draw where it's gonna be, where yep. it's gonna be positioned. If you measure your, Mark, put a mark on your string with a marker, you slide that on, it's exactly in the right spot. So I'm guessing another potential use for this is, you know, I could put an arrow in there and if I'm getting my numbers together for Archer's Advantage for a sight tape, I could get my measurement from the arrow to the peep, yep. which they require for that. I could do that with the bowsmith right yep. here. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Well, let's, uh, well, actually, while we have it at full draw, one of the other things that we hear about so often is setting your third axis for your sight. Yes. And uh, there are folks out there who advocate for the way you should really be checking your third axis is at full draw. Yep. As opposed to with the bow at rest. So right now we could just put a uh, level on here to check our third axis. I got that on there. So now, all you would do. Simple as this, just pick the back of the machine up. And it's nice if you have somebody else helping you with this, but right. rotate it as far as you want, hold it still, and you'll see, you know, you're so, still I'm, perfect. It is here, but I see our yeah, sight your sight's is moved. off. Yeah. yeah, we would have to adjust that a little bit to get that third axis squared away. Yep. Now for the big test, Vern, we're gonna take a shot with it. Yep. All right, Vern, so we've switched around here. Now we're going to take a shot with it. It's hooked up exactly the same way. We didn't redo that with the release connected. So now we're gonna put an arrow in and draw it back. Okay, just hook the knock on. Yep. And now we can both safeties are hooked up yet. Yep. Uh, we're going to shoot this this time. So instead of, we're going to take the string catch off because you're not going to need it for this because the uh, arrow will save the ball if oh, it accidentally right. breaks. Yeah. Okay, then we'll draw it back to full draw or close. Let's 
So we're watching our draw stops for when they come around. And right, a little more right there. there. Okay. Aha. Now so you, it's just off a little bit. We're a little bit short. We need it to go a little longer, but it's in oh, between clicks. Yeah. So what we do here, we just screw that in or out. We're going the wrong way. There you go. Take it nice and easy. Yeah. A little more. A little more. Keep going. Almost there. And okay. We're touching. So you really get it perfect here. Yeah. And there's a draw stop back here that you want to adjust when you set that. And you can lock that in place. That way, next time you draw it back, oh. you know, for shooting more arrows, you don't have to go through this process. It's already there. So that's yet another thing, because I could, I mean, this has a cable stop, so I could pull differently into that yes. cable each time. Yep. But with this, as you just said it, now it's going to be right there every time, yep. every shot. Exact. Okay, so to take a shot, we do Okay. What? Just pull this pin out, safety, it's ready to fire. Make sure your range is clear. And for sighting, what are you doing? How are you For this shooting? one, we just sighted down the shaft of the arrow. Okay. And you can use your sights. They're off a little bit because the way a guy holds a bow, it's not going to be exact. We're not doing this for trying to hit something yeah. in particular. No. We just need to hit the wall. Yep, that's... <laughs> <laughs> okay, basically it's ready to fire, so okay. you're good. Just pull the trigger and that's it. I mean, the bow didn't move at all. No. It didn't tip, didn't go anywhere. Now, if you're going to do this repeated, you want to weight the feet down because oh, gotcha. it's going to move a little bit every shot because we don't have sandbags on it or any kind of weighting system. Yeah, we should mention that this is all aluminum construction. Yes. So this is all, so it's super light, you know, weighs nothing and made in America. Yep. Love that as well. All right, so Vern, we do on the top here have a ruler. So obviously that's gonna get our draw length. How do we calibrate that? Because every bow is gonna sit in there differently. You wanna measure a bow, you know, when you get it, put it, put it in there, set it up, measure it, and you just adjust this scale accordingly. The one that'll... Yeah, you can just take your yep. uh, screwdriver here and slide that forward or back. So you got that. Uh, underneath here, Vern, we got these eye hooks. What would you potentially use those for? Those are for either bunging, to, bunging it down to a floor or you can spend water buckets from them and it holds it really well. That's going to work in place of your sandbags yeah. just to keep it from moving. It actually okay. works better. Gotcha. And uh, so our adjustments that we already talked about uh, for raising and lowering, you got one handle, one knob there, another one there as yep. well. And you got another knob on the outside here for your rear windage. Yeah, there's really not much in terms of, you know, adjustments for this. It's pretty no. straightforward. Yep, and everything on here is adjustable. So if you want to twist the, the bow in there, you can do it up front here in several manners. The torque box, like I mentioned before, is pretty so you, unique to this. Yeah, so you can, is that to replicate different hand torque you may have? or You can. You can simulate other guys' stuff, but I don't recommend it. It's not necessary. Best off, give them... Starting a bow that's right. Just square. Yeah, and have, right. have them learn to shoot like a machine. Easier said than done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is the Coops Bowsmith. Great tool for your home bow shop or your professional bow shop. Vern, thanks for the demonstration. Thank you for having me. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out new videos. As always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com.